Alright, hello, hello everyone, welcome, how's everyone doing? Everyone's having a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Happy Sunday, if it's still Saturday for you, and happy Saturday. <laughs> Baby cake. Ba Babby cakes? <laughs> hello, welcome. Gather up all of the crew, it's time to ship our Binks' crew. Wave goodbye, but don't you cry, our memory. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Baby cakes, okay. I wasn't sure because there was there's three bees in in baby, so I wasn't sure. But thank you for clearing it up. Yeah, tonight we are uh continuing more Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Um we were last playing this yesterday and uh we instantly finished up chapter nine and now we're on chapter ten. We're gonna see what happens next in this game. It's fine. Okay. Do you play uh, Fire Emblem Baby Cakes? <laughs> kind of sounds real odd saying that name out loud. Not gonna lie. I don't really play Fire Emblem either. This this isn't really a a mainline Fire Emblem game because usually Fire Emblem games are more like a turn-based strategy combat type game. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, on the other hand, are like um, like a group, like a hack and slash, like uh, board beat 'em up type of game. Um, kind of like Dynasty Warriors, if you haven't heard about Dynasty Warriors. Um, it has the same combat. It's basically like a, uh, I guess it's like a spin-off game, if you call it that. What's your favorite character on a TV show called... Huh. Like, wow? Uh... Mm, no? I don't think so? I don't know. Isn't WoW, uh... Uh, an MMO game? Online MMO game, I mean? Okay, uh, let's see here. What are you sorry for? Okay, let's see what... I think the only thing we can do is just start our next fight. Let's see here. Like a soul game, um, no, I don't think so. Have you heard of um, Dynasty Warriors? The Dynasty Warriors games, it's basically the same combat as that, just with a fire emblem touch on it. Bad at using chat? Nah, it's all good. Okay, well, I guess the only thing we can do is go Which to... battlefield are you headed to? Fight. Next fight. So, we're gonna do this one. Wilson Row Territory. 
Maintain. Erin Rod. Things that they say. Erin Rod's perimeter. The Kingdom Army is mounting a renewed offense against a small stronghold near Erin Rod. Protect them and blunt the enemy's momentum. So we get Born Tome if we get an S rank and we get 5400 gold just for completing it. You ever heard of Dynasty Warriors? Gotcha. Um, well, I guess you'll see you'll see the combat here once I load into a fight. How to watch a play? Nice to be introduced to new games. Mostly play Dead by Daylight and Animal Crossing. Ah, oh, okay. I got you. Um, I I gave Dead by Daylight a try at one point. Not really my thing, but it's a game. Um, I did like watching people play. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> and I too um play Animal Crossing. Um, I just haven't been playing my my game in particular like for quite a while now. Just haven't really and then I just don't have anything to do <laughs> in my on my um, island thing so I just haven't been playing Animal Crossing in a while but I used to stream it here and there All right, so let's see. Defeat the Cavalier and other enemies. The back alley is captured. Okay. Let's change out Bernadetta for our new friend, Shamir. Uh... He got replaced. Another step toward victory. Okay. You will take. Wait, no, we're not me. Your villagers must hate you. I mean, probably. <laughs> Let's earn our keep. We have to strengthen our defenses. Okay, let's let's have Ado go. go. No mistakes. They must Take learn who one. they're up against. Leave this one to me. Orthea would take. That's that. my cue. And I guess for now, Shamir. I've got it. Need some backup. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. Push on one. Hold this position. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. Hey, you just go around beating up like so big groups of enemies, I'm sorry. capturing um, strongholds and doing objectives and missions. Expected. Stand back. 
It's done. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Got you. I'll take over. Let's go. <clears throat> So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Yeah. We won't lose, no matter what. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Ooh. Saying. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. You've already lost. I will end you. Ooh, that was cool. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Okay, uh... Take a breath. Here goes! I'm sorry. We weren't yeah. strong enough. Ow. So like like that's that's it for us. ta la 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 ta la 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 Hey, Elmer. This is all my fault. I need healing. This isn't good. We're not losing to anyone. Great. I need healing. Oh wait, we got. It. There we go. Uh, all right, let's go Shore capture. Actually, go capture this area. <laughs> Hey, we got an S rank. Otherwise, we got a foreign tomb. Or tome, not tomb, sorry. I'm getting better. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I must out Ooh, it's a B rank. I think I think Dorothea already has a B rank weapon.
We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. SAF. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of Kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire has already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Hmm. <laughs> easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. That's such an anime trope. <laughs> only because it's you. Such an anime line. <laughs> A report, your majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we'd brought peace back to the area too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side. Though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could. But that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Four, are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way. So I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that, I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. 
I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ash and Ingrid chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. Okay. Right. Expand a facility. Right. Hmm. Uh. Lavender, rose, and for 1500 gold. And yeah, we'll take it. Get a master seal for S rank in that one. Old low down for it. S rank in this one. We need two more master seals so we can get uh the other two their master classes. Everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Really wish I can buy more master seals. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Go to the facilities master. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Greatly reduces the cost of lovely up. Heck yeah, that's gonna be really useful. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape. For the fate of both. I'll grow as strong as I can. Okay. With proper um, training, you'll be unstoppable. A convoy. Oh, Dorothea has a C rank weapon. That means we can give her foreign tone. Hmm. Actually, let's, uh... 
boost critical. Excellent. Increase the critical rate of Archer. One night class action. Close the degrading of weapon durability when using. Let's do that one. Um, medium, small. Flame volley. That's just a straight shot. Break shot. Let's do that. Then point bit point blank volley. Increase the recovery amount of healing magic by 20%. It's magic by 2. When a tome is equipped, increase damage to enemies by 10%. Allows the unit to survive a single blow that would otherwise reduce HP to 0. Abuse Mage, Warlock, and class action with an element, regardless of whether they are chained to strong attacks. Triple Apex Tome. How's the weather? Uh, I don't know. Actually, pretty sure it's still cold outside. It's not raining, so that's a good sign, right? Around. Oh, she does have a healing. Kills all allies. Oh, this is the better one, I think. Okay. Kills surrounding allies. Heals allies across a wide area. Ooh. Okay, I think we... We'll replace Nostra 2 with Physic. Thunder... Did 
interior. Two meteor. Don't want winter to end. Love the cold. Same. I feel the same. Especially because spring is coming soon. Here, swing shoot. Next in speed. Let's do who's critical. Draws attacks increasing the frequency that surrounding foes at the unit. Increase the attack range and or attack range of Astra and Flugel class actions. Ooh. Hmm. I think that should be good. Struggle. Temporarily reduces the user's defense to make the stun gauge display with all attacks. Astro. Form a series of five slashes while moving swiftly. Ooh. Do that. Strike. Flash strike. We can keep flash strike on, I think. to the blacksmith. Hey there. 
Need something? I don't have a lot of black sand steel to forge. We're fine now. Um, guess let's go to the next fight. All right, let's save. Which battlefield are you headed to? Do this one. Is this fog? I'm assuming this is all fog. shot leave this one to me that's my cue yes for now here I go no mistakes Listen. I'll provide some protection Pins. united uh, we way. are unbeatable This for the more or whatever. That's doing this fall. Oh, 
retreat. Even here. Or... We're not losing to anyone. Yay, it's all cleared up. We did it. Okay. Um With me, okay. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. It's not over. Still improving. Show me what you're capable of. Let us begin. Here goes. Stand back. I'd rather be attacking than defending, but I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. Stand down! A shot. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Take a breather. Done and done. Now, what's next? Let's clear it out. Your assistance at once.
Keep going. Gotta get it together. I forgot to open the chest. God damn it. Oh well. Yay, S rank. Got a master seal. Heck yeah. Army will soon be knocking at our door. Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Um, Duval's dead. <laughs> Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I've no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know oh. we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. I left. Gerald. Excellent. You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Gerald. I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. Uh, appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us, but it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war in the state, it's yeah, I don't know if the I Empire like is throwing the everything they've got at this thing. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. That's a cool sword. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. 
I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Radius territory? Mighty Radius? Radius? No. Orthea will uh, like to suggest a battle plan. Do you think this might work? Uh, give veterans a platform to share their war experiences to improve combat readiness. They'll increase experience gained by infantry classes and. Manuela wants to go on an expedition. Greetings. Indeed. Bit of life, golden apple. Uh. Of life, that does nope. in for another fight. <clears throat> Curry and other enemies. Okay, let's earn our keep. Let's get to work. Yeah, we can win this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here I go. No mistakes. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. For the opposite. So. it for us let's carve a swath through the battlefield take a breather Come <laughs> 
victory! Can't say I'm surprised. Cheers means so much more when I'm on. Infantry units. Devil sword. Again, a shrink on this one. I really want to get that weapon. The fight starts now. Hold on. I've got it. Need some backup? Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Hmm. Here I go. I'll provide some protection. I'm coming for you. We will surmount this challenge together. To this one. Help me! Someone! Anyone! Help! Help! This isn't looking so good. Oh, my God. 
what you're capable of. successful oh yeah. yes this rank I won't let myself stop here should come in handy. Ooh, B rank weapon.
Whoa, we got three master seals. Hell yeah. Ah. Let's return to camp then. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. something Is this it? Mm. Still need black sand steel. Let's see if we can See get more around. at the uh at the Flight Master here. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Go back to the expo. Hey there. Need something? This one that I have currently. Is this it? Hmm. 
See you around. Okay. Pushing the wrong button. Authorities master. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Elixirs. Let me know if I may be of further service. All right, let's go to the instructor. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Now we can get new classes for Thea. Get the Grimmery class for her. Guess I'll have to learn something new. And then here's gonna get the bow knight. Better get this down. Okay. So all of us should have that speech bubble next to our character's thing. Hmm. Oh, suggestion bonus. Can be the difference between with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. All right, um, Bridget strategist. Which battlefield are you headed to? Do this one to get the double sword. And then after this one, we'll probably do the main fight for this chapter. Victory conditions: defeat 500 enemies. Or vict yeah, victory conditions. Did I say victory? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> My brain. Mission time limit expires. Oh. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Whoopsie. Starts now.
Imperial... I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. Forces, attack! We got ten yeah. minutes. We can win this! Monster? I've got it. Let's go. Out of the 
awesome. It's done. I'll take point. My turn. Yeah, like less than four minutes. We gotta keep going. Keep on running. I'm trying to get real close here. Count El Elidur, Elidur, We're not losing to it. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Okay. Now I've got this. This may be the greatest deed anyone has yet accomplished in this war. I should write a victory ballad to celebrate. We still have a time limit, I just realized that. Uh, fuck.
I don't know if that's nest rank though. Nope, I knew it. <clears throat> Look. I won't let my. Yeah. Who knew this power slept? Yeah, we took way too long to finish that mission. Oh well, it's fine. Ferdinand wants to go on expedition? Reward is available. Go get that reward. Whatever it is. a good result okay just gonna ignore the Ferdinand expedition which battlefield are you headed to so let's uh... yeah let's just do the main battle now subjugation of the Western Kingdom on the march once more, the Imperial Army advances to bring the Western Kingdom to heal, but an old adversary bars her way. Right, we have activity points. Let's spend them, I guess. Make sure you're ready. to make yourself useful? You both. I always get the job done, and I'm thorough. You have not to worry about with me. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I sure. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Care to make yourself useful?
counting on you best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted. we can do it together we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Do our fair share. I think we're good. On relationship stuff. I'm not gonna bother spending the last two. Which battlefield are you headed to? Okay, let's do this final fight. Education of the Western Kingdom. Bum, 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 bum. We'll soon arrive at Baron Mateus's lands. Once we claim them, all of Western Fargus. Roughly one-third of the kingdom's territory will be under the rule of the Empire. House Mateus was demoted from a Viscountcy to a Baronage for their part in some sort of revolt. The current Baron Mateus, whose father was the previous Lord, is hardly the most loyal subject of the Crown. Removing him from the picture should be a simple matter. However, the kingdom has sent the Baron help in the form of the former Duke Fraldarius, who they call the Shield of Fargus. So long as he holds authority here, we won't be able to break their soldier solidarity. Rodrigue is Felix's father, right? That's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight whoever I need to. It just feels like we're pitted against familiar faces every time we turn around. And that isn't all. Our reports indicate the enemy has hired Gerald's mercenaries. Mm hmm We know from personal experience how formidable those foes can be. That means we're gonna fight Pilot again. The Ashen Demon again. Hmm? Say, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about that exactly? Hmm. We can't keep letting one mercenary mess with our whole army. So just watch. I'm gonna take that monster out once and for all. Or at least slow them down, if nothing else. That hesitance doesn't suit you. Not anymore. You're far stronger than the last time your paths crossed. Just say the words and I'll give you all the power I can muster. We will prevail. I possess skill at leading surprise attacks, and Bernadetta would be making a good decoy. Wait, decoy? If we are all working together, we will reach our goal with much How would ease. Bernadetta be a good decoy? I feel like that's kind of a messed up statement to say. I get a say in this whole decoy plan, right? I was only saying a fact, not asking you to be doing it. Please accept my apologies. Oh, okay. I hope you plan to leave some of the enemy for me. You are all so skilled. I often feel like the fifth wheel on a well-crafted carriage. Don't downplay your talents, Ferdinand. You give us courage every time we step on the field. I'm lucky to be surrounded by so many gifted leaders. With all of you at my side, there is no limit to what the Empire might achieve in the years to come. Victory to the Empire! Yay! Enthusiastic. <clears throat> Come on, Arval. Seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? 
Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. Last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. Hey. Your actions in the your actions in this battle will greatly impact the outcome of the story. What? Oh fuck. We're missing two strategies. So don't die then, yeah, exactly. How are you doing, Cody? <clears throat> This strategy will significantly turn the tide of battle. Say what? But now I gotta know what this strategy is. And some Rogue Legacy 2? How was that? I don't think I've heard of that game. But I've, I have been seeing you play that quite often on Switch. Hold on. Go back to the war. Well, that gives us another strategy. But we're missing two. Oh, well, you haven't cleaned these ones. Very well. Recovery boost. Let's um actually let's do this side fight side battle before we go to the main one. I wanna see what this strategy is. Defeat Warlock, Paladin, and Swordmaster. Ooh, excuse me. Let's earn our keep. Victory! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I've got it. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Hmm. I've got it. Need some backup? We'll take on the right side, I guess. Your wits. Now show me your courage. Yeah, we can win this. <laughs> Bringing it down. 
think that's it for us. Things aren't heading in the right direction. And they're fast. Come back! to help here I go no mistakes I'll provide some protection Here it comes! 
just the beginning. I'll take over. That's some power you've got. Nicely done. Does. I don't know if that's an S rank or not. Hey, we did it. Maybe it's better this. Wasn't it lightning? Okay. Um. This is like expand and then we'll fight for this chapter. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Camp is now level B. Your supply of training points and activity points have increased. Nice. Let me know if I may be of further service. Go to the item shopkeeper. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. See you again soon. Back to the strategist. Now let's do the main fight. Which battlefield are you headed to? Resonant Lightning Recovery Boost 
Increasing amount of HP restored while in allied stronghold. This way, eerie. False rumors. Anti sword training. Do those two. No time to waste. Let's do this. Our enemy has placed Baron Mateus front and center, while Gerald's mercenaries are over with the main position. We have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodri. Anything beyond that, however, requires careful consideration. It will take time to ready a path to the shore. Until then, let us begin by attacking the plain to the west. The Empire's here! No! I'm too young to die! Now there's a pitiful man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride! Shore up your defenses! Do not permit the enemy to break through! Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here I go. No mistakes. Go up there yet, it looks like. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Okay. If we take down the strongholds surrounding the Baron, we might convince him to lay down his arms. Uh, 
Decimated the enemy's it's forward over. position. I'm surrounded. I beg you, stay your hand. I happily surrender. Oh, what? I trust the man roughly as far as I can hold. Just surrendered? <laughs> Alright. The Emperor's roster shames the rest of us. I must find a way to distinguish myself. Continue to the northwest and finish that path to the shoal. I knew the Baron wasn't up to the task. We'll have to forestall the enemy ourselves. Move out and attack. Okay. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Doesn't have an order. Burning death doesn't have one. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. I've got it. That one yet? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Cool. Everyone has an order. Follow them. There are hidden sorcery engineers in this area who are preparing a fearsome magic. That will lay waste to our purpose. Take long for the enemy to spot our enemies. The stage arrest. We intend to use their talents to ravage the battle with devastating magic. Their absence will completely alter the tide of battle. 
Rescuing them should be our top priority. <laughs> The enemy stronghold will be ours. Let's clear it out. Stop the attack. Please let us take this place down. I need somewhere to hide. I can do this! No, no, no. So far, Stand so up. good. Though I'm prepared for something to go horrifically wrong in the now. I'm all for exercising caution, Lin, but could you not be such a wet blanket? <laughs> An enemy detachment from the rear? Take them out now. We can't afford the risk. Watch this! My turn. We will soon control the area. Get now! We're getting beaten back. I can't leave this position undefended. Oh. Ooh. I said I'd hand them the victory, and I'm not going to back down now. He's at least semi-reasonable. If we can pin him down, I think he'll listen. I will do that in a second. Gotta help our Randolph. Good. Keep it up. I'm done for. Resonant Lightning. That's my cue. I've got this. I'll take over. Please tell me you're not pointing that thing at my beautiful face. I thought I'd feel something. I might actually kill you this time. Kill me? Wait, who are you again? That hurts. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not caught. 
Hey, we did it. I've heard of you, Yuri. Perhaps we can forge a new arrangement that benefits us both. Well, when you put it that way. I guess I would prefer <laughs> to put it that way. <laughs> I must stop the enemy here. We cleared away to the shoal. We can attack from the east now. Hmm. Finally, form a pincer and bear down on Rodrigue's position from both sides. I won't last long time to hold them off from two directions. I can do this! Come to help, Lord Rodrigue! And not a moment too soon. Let's show them the steel Fargus is made of! I have to convince the Empire I'm worth keeping around. Destroy the bridge and isolate the main force! The bridge is down! We've been cut off from Lord Rodrik and the others! Thanks to the enemy base. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Everyone else. Everyone's just right here. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'll take point. Watch this. Take a breather. I'll tear you apart. Than defending, but I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. This is on you! That was really cool. <laughs> now, this is all the destroyed. Well, um. It's everyone. That's my cue. I'll take point. Please let us take this place down. I need somewhere to hide. No, not yet. This guy is nice. None of your knaves shall pass. I hope to bring reinforcements. Now go and help your comrades. We have 
nothing to fear from that rabble. Now remain calm and take the strong. Not choice to come within striking distance. You love the knights, Alois? Let us stay vigilant. I could say the same of your sudden departure. But regardless, here we stand as enemies. Let's give it a shot. Too many. I leave the rest to you. I don't care who you are. You go no further. There's no avoiding a fight with the Ashen Demon now. Let's play again. You're mine. I'm taking as many of you down as I can. I'm here to end I'm you for now. Then do it. Take a breather. If you can. I've never faced a challenge that like hurts. I'll take you all on. win this. Uh, no, not again. I have to get out of here. I'm happy to see the demon flee, but that erratic behavior concerns me. All right, I'm gonna take this guy down. Here for me? You must be eager to die. Watch 
this. I'm not afraid of you. I'm already lost. I will end you. Forgive me, Felix. Nice. Protect his majesty. And Farkas. Please stand down, Lord Rodrigue. I've no desire to take your life. What did I could obey? Now. You're a true ally once. But this is what must be done. The enemy commander has been defeated. Grant no quarter to any soldiers who refuse to surrender. I leave to take care of one backup squad and come back to this? What a mess. Where is he? They must look. Time to send a few of you to the grave before Rodrigue gets lonely. Well, now we know what happened to our reinforcements. Remember agreeing to take the rear. I'll have to charge double for this. Yeah. Oh. I know what the Ashen Demon might have gotten away, but you'll make a fine substitute. Stronger folks than you have tried and failed to claim the Blade Breaker's head. Like you finally beat me. Yeah, fuck you. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. I defeated the blade breaker. I can't believe it. Randolph! Don't worry about me. Just go. Hurry. I won't. Please, fight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's about to kill Randolph. No! And there he goes. How? How could you? You monster! Hey! <laughs> Oh, you little shit. You don't run away. No, Randolph's dead, though. Even though we don't really see him. <laughs> Still. Fuck. Don't leave me. Please, Randolph. This can't be real. Damn. Randolph. So sorry. You're gone forever. And it's all because of me. It's all my fault. Enough. You know that's not true. But he could have escaped. And instead he stayed behind to protect me. And that's why that... That... Thing... 
In that case, the fault is mine. I had the Ashen Demon cornered and couldn't close the deal. And then Gerald gave me so much trouble that I wasn't able to reach you in time. I could have prevented all this if I'd just been a little quicker. A little better. That's not true. You saved me. That wasn't me. It was Randolph. He gave his life for yours. No. No, I... <laughs> I know there's nothing I can say now that will help. So instead, I'll let my sword do the talking. When I cut the Ashen Demon down. You're more than capable of it, too. You had that monster right in your grasp. I only wish my premonition hadn't come true. Gerald's... gone? Yeah, killed his ass. No. This is all my fault. Oh, we killed him too, but I guess we just... knocked him down. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. I wonder if... Violet is gonna kill him. I'm sorry. Captain, I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength, your father would yet live. Wait, father? The captain was a true titan among men. I... <laughs> can't believe he's gone. There is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, and vengeance shall be yours. We must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. They mentioned your old was Violet's father. I doubt that. It, I doubt he's his. He's um. Violet's biological father. Maybe like a father figure. I don't know. I don't know the lore of Fire Emblem, so it's yeah. Do you mind taking command for a while, Aloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but surely I can aid you. No. This task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you dare get yourself killed. <sighs> Accessory hobbyist tea. Better draw me something. Damn, no S rank. Accept the gift. I've got this. I'm not there yet. A new power! Alright! Oh yeah, how about this guy? <laughs> we got Yuri! In 12 or now? Enemy commander, the former Duke Fraldarius has been defeated. Now Mateus' territory and all the western lands of Fargus will yield as one to the Empire. Still, this battle came at a far greater cost than we are used to paying. This is the most dead and wounded we have ever faced in a battle. Not to mention the loss of General Randolph. And yet... We might finally be rid of one of the greatest thorns in our collective side. Eliminating Captain Gerald was a masterstroke. If we are lucky, his band will fall apart without him. Or it may throw them into a vengeful fury that makes them stronger and more united than ever. That's going to be a problem, especially with the Ashen Demon still roaming the land unchecked. An intriguing figure, that one. And a crest bearer for certain. 
We'd be smart to step lightly. Guess that explains where all the awesome power is coming from. But the Ashen Demon doesn't strike me as nobility, and only nobles have crests. I'd posit the man standing next to you doesn't exactly exude nobility either. The demon's hair exhibits new color. It is like something from one of Bridget's old stories. One will be chosen by the spirits and granted their protection. And with that protection, great power. Can I just go on the record and say no to vengeance? I have zero interest in being revenged upon. That's the risk one takes when entering battle, Bernadetta. Sadly, you can't take up arms and not expect reprisal. We have no control over whether they come for us or not. We can only control what we do next. No way! No one's making me take my medicine! <laughs> what? If you insist on continuing to interrupt Her Majesty, you will have far more immediate things to fear than an enemy's nebulous vengeance. <laughs> come to think of it, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? I know what I told Fleisch, but did I really do the right thing? Of course, you did what no one else could. The Ashen Demon may have escaped, but you got rid of their captain. There's no question you've grown, and next time, the Ashen Demon will fall. But so many people died, including Randolph. A price must always be paid for victory. And besides, Randolph is just one man. He's not just one man. The fuck, dude? One man who was handpicked by Edelgard, just like me. One man who shared all of our struggles. He was a good man and a fine ally, and now he's dead because of me. I had no idea you cared so much. All the more reason to finish what you started. You can still make this death mean something, and I can give you the strength to do so. Now cheer up! Seeing you sad like this makes me... Makes you... what? Yes, it, it makes me very... something. Tight in the chest. Anyway, stop frowning at me. I don't like it. Making you... Making you feel sad too? No matter what anyone else tells you, I'm the closest ally you have. Remember, we're partners in destiny. Hmm. Are you prepared for this? Honestly, I don't know. Gerald wouldn't want this. He didn't believe in vengeance for vengeance's sake. Indeed. You could not be more right. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. <sighs> I could do this by force, you know. Be grateful then that I asked for your leave at all. You're right. This has to come from me. And I accept your power. Help me win, no matter what it takes. Ah, yes. You shall make a most worthy vessel after all. Oh boy. And now, behold all that I have discovered at the edge of time. Boy, shit's about to go down. Scarlet Blaze. Heroic Bloodlines. Through a new pact with the Leicester Alliance, Edelgard can direct her might at the kingdom, and though it comes at no small price, her forces steadily gain the upper hand. But the kingdom does not stand idly by. Dimitri rallies the Western lords, led by House Dominic, blood of one of the ten elites, in a last-ditch effort to forestall the Empire. No, brother. Anything but that. You cannot force the relic onto Annette. Calm yourself. I've nearly bade her wield it, not sent her rushing off into the teeth of the enemy. It's all right, Father. 
I know I'm the only one who can do this. Just seeing the Crest of Dominic and our hero's relic is going to improve everyone's morale. It shames me to thrust this task on you, when it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Yes, I doubt we can expect Simon to return and wield the relic, considering how quickly he abandoned us. It seems I raised him poorly, yes. I should have taught him how our house managed to survive this long without starving or freezing. Don't look so sad, Uncle. I'll gladly carry the burden until Simon returns. But, Annette... Enough, Father. Stop worrying. After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So many people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. I'm not going to cower in safety while they struggle. Especially when I'm in the best position to help. Forgive me, Annette. If you sense any danger at all, child, promise me that you'll run. I couldn't bear to lose you. I know, Father. So let's just all do the best we can to keep our land safe. What do I get the feeling we all... We're gonna have to kill her. The nearer we get to Blayfit territory, the more resistance we're likely to face. The lords surrounding the capital are the most loyal to the crown. We have Geraint, Enid, Brennius, and Bellinus. There is no telling whether these houses will choose subjection or destruction. Regardless, we cannot simply ignore them as we attempt to march on the capital. We must seize control of each of their lands and establish footholds before continuing on. The Alliance is still doing everything we expected of them. There are no changes on that front. So as long as we continue tightening the vice around the kingdom, we're certain to fulfill your majesty's goals. Glad to hear it about the Alliance. Does this mean the war will be over soon? I feel some actual motivation coming on. Well, in that case... Nope, nope, never mind, motivation gone. <laughs> Ooh, that was quick. That was a close one, Bernadetta. You almost got yourself assigned to the front lines. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking stuff. We shall see who does more wrecking of stuff, Kaspar. I will not be letting you outshine me. Watch as I am bringing glory to Bridget and the Empire on the battlefield. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find someone worth marrying before this war is over. Alright. We're rushing things now. Of course you will, Dorothea. You're amazing. But why would you want to get married before the war is over? Yeah, why would you want that? Enough. It's easy to let your guard down when the end is in sight, and we can't fall victim to that. Stay disciplined, and together we will take Fodlan's future in hand. Don't worry, Edelgard. We're ready to get this done. That goes doubly so for me. I must ready myself for the final clash that looms in the coming days. Right then. Let's start by taking care of the enemy in front of us. Suggestions. Hmm. Does anyone have any suggestions regarding how to prepare for battle? I have the most brilliant idea. Let's see. Work with nearby towns who procure better training equipment. Acquire materials to expand the training ground. What do you think of this? Invest in the battalion guild to improve its reputation. Acquire materials to expand the battalion guild. Uh, I have an idea. Hey, so I have an idea. I'm gonna nearby merchant to sell and sell surplus goods, sell items for a slightly higher price. Um what? I have the most brilliant idea. Uh, 
Let's do this one. Naturally, this task falls to me. Shall we? We'll proceed with this plan. I'm counting on all of you. Hey. To the supply master. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Get support conversations. Oh, we have one with Shamir. Ooh, interesting. I should call it a day. You sticking around? Nah, I should finish up too. Thanks, Shamir. I have to work out new unit formations for our next battle. Hmm. You're pretty conscientious for a mercenary. That's rare in our profession. Well, sorry to cut and run. Good luck with all that. Hmm, <laughs> some help would be nice. I can handle it. It's my responsibility, after all. Right, well, if you ever need a hand, just let me know. Really? Thanks. Dependable as always, Shamir. Honestly, you're so mature for your age. How old is she? Hopefully. You always seem so composed, almost wise. Even when we're just chatting. I wouldn't say wise. Save that for the higher-ups. I just mind my own business. Plenty of mercenaries do the same. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. You know, you're pretty easygoing yourself, even by merc standards. Have you been on your own for long? Didn't you belong to a mercenary group at some point? Yeah, but I bounced around a lot. Let's see, the company I was with the longest was... Probably Burling's Mercenaries, the last one I joined. But then we clashed with Gerald's band, and I was the only one who survived. There isn't a mercenary who hasn't lost someone or something along the way. The losing trusted comrades stays with you. Yeah. Captain Burling, Getz, Lasley. We were a tight-knit group, if a little rough around the edges. I would have been content staying with them till the end. Maybe your experience is what's made you so pragmatic. It takes real strength to overcome past hardships and move on. That's what I think, anyway. You know, you seem way more pragmatic than me. I wonder what made you that way. You should know not to pry into a mercenary's past. <laughs> but if the right moment comes, maybe I'll tell you about it. Oh, yeah. to someone who did you seem to be in a good mood burn D Dorothea you scared me <laughs> sorry about that it just looked like you were enjoying your conversation that was a man you were talking to right he walked away before I could see who it was y yeah but it's not like that oh no it sure looked like you were getting along well. Who was he, hmm? Is spring finally springing in the heart of my dear Burn? No, it's not like that! Um, do you remember the commoner friend I had once? You mean the one who vanished from your estate half-dead? Yep. Well, it turns out he's actually alive and in our army. Oh. That's great, Burn. A childhood friend, thought past, reunites with his treasured companion amidst the fires of war. A noble daughter and a common lad. A love that knows no social boundaries. <laughs> this is the 
perfect plot for an opera. Yeah, that sounds impressed. Uh, wait, no, it's no love! <laughs> <laughs> yes, but if they made it into an opera, that's how it would be portrayed. For example, there's a series of operas known as the Empire of Love, and their latest could be the Bernadetta Saga. Absolutely not. If that happens, I'll lock myself in my room and melt down the key. Then I'll have to keep it secret. <sighs> a shame, though. It's such a lovely story to waste. It's not a waste! I'm taking it to my grave! I'm sure you are. <laughs> Still, I'm glad your friend is alright. Perhaps your father wasn't as cruel to him as wagging tongues would have us believe. Actually... He says my father was protecting me. I guess someone was trying to kill me, so he had no choice but to kick out my friend. Um, but if that's the case, doesn't it mean you can patch things up with your father? No. My problems with him go way beyond this one incident. I mean, yeah, it seems like there was a bit of a misunderstanding around this one thing. But even if he was protecting me, it wasn't for love. It's more like how a smith protects a valuable tool. That sounds very much like my father. It does? Yes. He tossed my mother aside like some worn-out tool because their child, me, didn't have a crest. That's why your situation feels so personal. I really want you to overcome your struggles with everything that happened with your father and find a way to be happy. Um, but I'm already happy. Really, I am. And it's all because I have friends like you, Dorothea. Then I can be happy too. Because I have friends like you, Burn. Aww. That's cute. Okay. Alrighty. I think we'll just save here and uh, we'll call things here for the night. Ooh, but yeah, we made a lot of progress there. We finished another chapter, which is awesome. So we are now on chapter 11. We are or after this chapter, we are three chapters away from finishing this game. So, more than likely, we will probably finish this game in about two weekends from now, I guess. And uh, I guess we'll see what we'll do after this game. No, but yeah, I think in about two weekends. If it takes if it takes us one stream to finish one chapter, then yeah, it would be like two weekends from now. Oh man, but I hope you guys are enjoying um Three Hopes as we are nearing the end. But and Brain fart. Um, but I appreciate you guys coming by, hanging out, watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll more than likely continue more Neptunia Sisters versus Sisters. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Until then, everyone have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time it is for you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.